In today's video, we're going to show you how to change your PSN ID. Now, that's essentially the same thing as your Xbox Gamer Tag. But with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. As to not waste any of y'all's time, we're going to start off by showing you how to get to the place that you need to get to and then actually doing it on the PlayStation. So over on your PC, you can go to PlayStation.com and then, of course, be sure that you're signed in. After that, click on your icon on the top right and go to account settings. After that, you can scroll down to your profile right here under PlayStation Network, and then you're gonna wanna go to online ID at the very top and click on edit. Now it's gonna give you some information. We'll talk about this here in a little bit towards the end of the video. And then this is where you're gonna put in your new ID. All right, so let's take a look at how you can do this on your phone. All right, you guys, so here we are on my phone. Now you can do this on your phone or your tablet as well. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is open up your PlayStation app. So I've got mine right here. Obviously, you have to be sure that you're signed in. You guys can see I'm signed in with my profile here. You're gonna click on your profile icon, click on edit profile. And then once that's done, that's gonna bring you to this page where once again, you can see your online ID. You're gonna click on edit, go through the same things that we're gonna talk about here in a bit. And then this is where you would put your new online ID. All right, so now that we're done with all of that, let's show you how you can actually do this on the PlayStation itself. All right, everybody, so here we are on our PlayStation. Now, the first thing that you wanna do is obviously make sure that you're signed in to your actual account, the account that you wanna change, and then go up and to the right, and you can click on your icon profile. And then once you click on that, go to profile. This is gonna bring you to your profile, and then move over to the pencil icon. That's gonna be edit your profile. And then from here, you want to not select name, but you want to go to your online ID. All right, so here's the important part that we've been skipping on the other ones because I did want to go through it with you guys here. It says all PS5 titles are expected to support the online ID change feature, uh, which I don't even remember what that feature is anymore, but the fact that you can actually change your PSN ID uh, was not always a thing, so now you can do it. There are some issues though. It says not all games and apps for PS4, PS3, PS Vita, and other PlayStation consoles support the online ID change feature. If you change your online ID, you may lose access to content, including paid for content that you have acquired for your games, including content like add-ons and your virtual currency. You may also lose your progress within games, including game save data, uh, the leaderboards, and progress towards trophies. It also says parts of your games and apps may not function properly, both online and offline, and your previous online IDs may remain visible to you and other players in some places. For a list of full PS4 games tested with the online ID feature, you can go to the site, and I will have that in the description if you guys want to check that out for yourself. Your first change is free. It says you'll be charged for subsequent changes. Your online ID needs to comply with your terms of service and your code of conduct. So you're gonna accept that. And I'll explain all this in one second. It's got a very simple explanation and then you guys can decide for yourself. So it says, if you haven't already saved your progress in all games on the console you're currently signed into, select cancel and do that now. It wants you to close everything. It says unsaved data will be lost. After you change your online ID, immediately launch your games to check for any issues such as lost content, progress, all the stuff that we just talked about. And it does say that changing back to your previous online ID may not fix any issues. For example, you may not get any recovery or any lost content progress or functionality. If you want to change back, do so as soon as possible because changing back to your previous online ID may affect your game content, your progress and all that stuff. So we're going to hit continue. After that, it's going to ask you for your password because they do want to make sure that you are the one that wants to change your online ID. So if you want, you can use a QR code or you can sign in with a button down here. And then this is where you're actually going to change your online ID. Now, I do want to mention all that stuff that we read is there to protect Sony's butt. Yes, it is absolutely true. It can happen. You can lose access and stuff like that. But I have changed my real account name before and I personally did not lose anything. I know a lot of other people that have changed their IDs and not lost anything, but keep in mind, they are warning you, and I'm warning you right now, there is a possibility that you may lose some or all of your save data, your game content, your trophies, and stuff like that. Now, it hasn't happened for me, so I feel confident doing this. It's, it's ultimately gonna be up to you whether or not you wanna do it, but I definitely want to change my alternate account. As you guys can see, I've been playing as not Noble Arcade 
since uh, 2021. So we're gonna change this to the same thing that we did on our Xbox. So we're gonna click on this and then just choose your account. So after you've chosen your name, you guys can see that mine is available. It'll tell you whether or not it's available and then we're going to confirm. After that, it's gonna bring you to this page. It says, help your friends recognize you by letting them see your old online ID next to your new one on your profile. Only you and your friends will see this and it'll automatically expire in 30 days. I think that's actually okay. You can go ahead and do that and then confirm and sign out. Again, there are some people that are very worried about it. It's gonna be up to you whether or not you wanna change it personally. Again, I've done it on my main account. I never lost anything. I'm not worried about it, but it's up to you whether or not you wanna do that. And that is how you change your PSN ID on your phone and on your PlayStation console. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments. And as always, we will see you on the next video.